Uh, I'm Nate Lohman. I'm an artist visiting from New York City. The one behind me on the wall, it's a series of uh, the side panels of a, a gas pump. There's a few components that come into play um, towards the middle that, uh, like other found objects and little um, pictures and little paintings that um, riff on the physical characteristics of the gas pump, like the holes in the metal. This is uh, called a speak through um, when you're speaking to the bank. Uh, Where's my fucking money? But uh, it'll probably get installed somewhere around here. I thought it was interesting with this and this. This also um, takes on like a like a silly kind of mundane thing where it's like you know uh, you're like talking to a wall. Um, uh, so it's not meant to be so depressing. It's meant to be funny. Does it matter how things get arranged? Is it important to you? One hundred percent. That's why I'm here. Why does it matter? Um, because. Um, because it, it, it matters how p things are arranged. Um, because in the end, um, I can't be here to talk about them. You know what I mean? A huge part of my uh, practice is just collecting images and, and materials and uh, different things for over a long period of time. And then um, classifying them according to a logic that might be interesting to me. So this piece was um, uh, named The Young and the Restless as, um, as a joke about the American soap opera to be like, to, um, to group a bunch of um, like disparate situations where young people were in these compromised positions and like bring them together in different, in various different media. I'm interested in the combinations of language and sort of the failures. So to me, like, you know, those paintings that are really worked over and, you know, detail oriented or labor intensive are the same as the newspaper clipping. It's all, you know, and they, they each carry their own meaning, but when you put them together, they can only, you know, the, it all collapses into like a, um, a diff, its own new language. And so, you know, the newspaper, the Xerox, the brush stroke, it's all, you know, fractions of something that has no actual form in the end, but it, but it uh, uh, leads to possibilities, sort of. This painting started out as an homage to the rapper Old, Old Dirty Bastard when he died. He had a nickname called Dirt Dog, um, and I always loved him. And uh, so this was like a combination of sort of beer and dirt, and I was just sort of standing there. Um, wiping it away, and then I painted the dog part. Um, you know, I did this with my foot, like literally, and you know, just uh, with with sort of beer and dirt, spilled beer and dirt, um, and uh, and then I I found this in in El Paso, Texas, which is a border town that goes into Mexico, which is a really violent place, um, and uh, I just glued it onto the canvas and collecting all kinds of like smiley face stuff and it's such a ubiquitous symbol and it it's it, it's really like everywhere um, I it's it's everywhere in North America and then you know when I landed here my taxi driver had one in the rearview mirror just like like it was the first thing I saw when I got to Brazil like this little got this little sticker going, you know this series of smiley face I had made this painting and this is uh, Condoleezza Rice smiling in a helicopter for like a publicity photo and that is Tom Cruise giving a like supermanic smile um, which he's famous for um, sort of like beyond crazy um, hysterically happy because as much as research as I do on a lot of these projects a lot of the things um, become uh, like they come serendipitously, like a lot of the materials, you know. Um, like this is another one of the gas pump parts that I found that just was, had this anthropomorphic char character to it. The only value you can have as an artist is to, um, to you and your viewer is to like, push yourself to do, to be experimental and and, and, and make the best, most interesting things you can 
regardless of who's looking or who's buying it or who's whatever, because, you know, that's, that's the real meaning in art is the communication. You know, it's not the money, 